Hello everyone, welcome to the lesson KCC 2018 paper 2 question number 15. The question is on matrices and transformations. Under a transformation T given by 4 2 negative 3 3 triangle OAB is mapped onto triangle O A prime B prime with vertices the given there O is 0 0 A prime 18 0 B prime is 18 6 and you're supposed to find the area of triangle OAB. Now you notice that you have the image the coordinates of the image are given, then you're required to get the area of the object. A quick look at the question, you notice that there is a matrix of transformation. There is a relationship between the matrix of transformation and the area scale factor. So given the matrix of transformation, that will help us to get the determinant. And you know the determinant of the matrix, so determinant of the matrix is equals to area scale factor. This is the main thing that is going to help us here. So we need to get the determinant of the matrix of transformation. How do we get the determinant? The determinant we're going to get it by uh, taking this diagonal, the product of that diagonal, so which is uh, 4 times 3, then subtract the product of um, the other diagonal, which is um, negative 3, multiply by 2. So this will give uh, 12, then uh, subtract plus this will be positive 6. So the determinant will be 18. And therefore, that will be the area scale factor. The determinant of the matrix of transformation is equivalent to the area scale factor. So this is the area scale factor. Another thing we need to understand, what is this area scale factor? Area scale factor is given by the area of the image, that is how we get the area scale factor, divided by the area of the object. So in this case, we need to check the question and see if we can obtain. Do we have the area of the object? We are actually looking for the area of the object in this question, OAB. Then when you look at this triangle, the coordinates of this triangle very well, O00180, B prime, when you look at it, you can do a rough sketch and that will help you to get the area. So let us uh, sketch this uh, triangle. And this is the image. So if I sketch it um, to look something like this. So O, then A prime, B prime. So O is given by 0, 0. Then uh, A is 18, 0. This is uh, A prime, is 18, 0. Then B prime is 18, 6. So you notice that these uh, forms a right angle triangle. Why? Because you look at uh, this displacement here, this vertical displacement here, uh, from 18, uh, from 0, the vertical displacement from 0 to 6, so the height of that triangle will be 6, and then uh, the horizontal displacement uh, from, this one will be from 0 to 18, so this displacement is 18. So already you have the base of that triangle and the height, so you can get the area, the area of that triangle will be given by half multiplied by the base which is um, 18 multiplied by the height which is 6 and this will give um, 54 square units. So that is how you're supposed to have looked at the coordinates, look at the coordinates of this triangle, you try to do a rough sketch and you notice that the vertical displacement or which is the height of the triangle will be 6 then the base will be because it is moving from 0 to 18 so the vertical the horizontal displacement is 18 and the height is 6. So having obtained this, remember this is the area of um, this um, image, O, A prime, B prime. That is the area of that. So having that and now knowing uh, the relationship that exists between the matrix of transformation and the area, we can substitute now that area scale factor is equals to uh, 18. We got that. And this one is obtained by, so the area scale factor which is 18 is obtained by area of the image which is 54 in this case, then divided by the area of the object, which is um, x, and that is the area of OAB. That is what you're required to get in the question. So we can put this in over 1, like this, then cross multiply, and this will give um, 18, multiplied by x is 18x, is equals to 54. Dividing both sides by 18, you get x is equals to 3 square units. So the area of the object, therefore, is 18, not 18, but 3 square unit. So that is what you're supposed to have done in that question by simply applying that relationship between the matrix of transformation and the area scale factor.